What's going on, everybody? Today we have the first men's night of the 2024 season here at Sham Mountain Golf Course, and it is a windy one and cold. So first hole here, playing very much into the wind. I definitely did not take enough club. Thought I had it. It was to a front pin, but not enough club. Went for the chip here, and this just did not release the way I thought. Um, not a great start, and left this putt just not good enough. So we tap in for bogey, and uh, yeah, hot start to the first hole men's night. Now this hole is playing directly downwind, and this was a much better swing. Felt a lot better with this, and was kind of hoping it was going to carry a little further, because this is a KP hole, and everyone likes good little cash bump if you get a good KP on men's night. But uh, unfortunately, we just spun out of the KP zone, and just missed this to even our way out to potentially keep our score better but that's fine moving on hole number three this is now playing again back into the wind very aggressive a little bit off the left and hit this too high flared it a touch it was pin high but just the wind took it and ate it and that's just what it is uh the other thing that eats is this just this is just terrible like this was so bad just working on something that uh max and i were doing and i, I did not execute that well whatsoever so that left us with this and we leave it short. And so now we are two over through three holes, which is just phenomenal. Uh, hole number four here is playing 113. And the wind was off the left, but it was... It, wind wind got really weird here today. But uh, it was good, forcing me to hit some different shots. Unfortunately, did not carry this deep enough. And it landed uh, kind of, you know, almost pin high, but then spun back a ton. Um, lagged it up there. And we're going to tap this in for par, which is fine. We're two over through four. Not a big deal, but not ideal. Hole number five. Uh, again, wind a little weird. Uh, hit a punch pitching wedge here. And it carried enough, but uh, just, again, a little flary. Like, not great swings overall so far on, on t this round of golf. Um, that putt, I... Thought it was going to break more left. It did not, but it's fine. We're going to clean it up. No damage done. And we move on to hole number six, which is, this is a tough hole when conditions are weird. This shot was 82 yards from there, and I just, just hit this right off the back. Um, I thought I clipped it enough, but as you can see, everything kind of runs away. And if you don't hit it perfectly, it just kind of lands and darts right off. This was actually a really good chip up there, and I fully expected to get up and down for par. But... Did not make that putt, which is very odd. A um, little disappointed in that, obviously, because that felt like something I could make. But it is what it is. Now, first par four of the day, uh, one of two, and was really trying to work on that swing stuff that I've been implementing and stay on my left side. And Well, we went left. <laughs> we didn't hit a cut, but we sure stayed on that left side and went left, uh, which left us with 92 to the pin from an angle I have never seen on this golf course. And uh, actually, this was a pretty decent shot considering the circumstances, which left us with a pretty pure downhill putt that, as you're going to see, breaks twice. But we make the birdie, the most unlikely birdie uh, of the day. So we are back to two under, hole number eight. Uh, pin is tucked on the left side here. So we went with a little like nice draw, actually, right to the middle of the green that actually spun a little bit towards the pin, which was great. Um, but, you know, what's great about this place is you got to really hit your shots. I'm going to get so much better playing here. This, this place is going to beat me up. And as you're going to see, it, it does beat me up. But my skill level is going to get so much better being here. So that's a par on eight. Pretty straightforward. Pull number nine. This, again, the wind was was kind of swirling. Um, didn't want to take more close. This was a pitching wedge here. I could have taken nine iron, but I felt like... I don't know. It just it felt like 9 iron was going to go way too deep. And um, anyway, this just hit the front of the green and spun right off. This was actually the first good chip of the day, which was okay. Still checked up a bit more than I thought, but at least not like those first two. So that's fine. And we're going to clean this up for par. And that's it. You know, this place, you really have to manage your spin and manage your wedges, which is obviously my biggest weak point, hence why I love playing here. 
this whole 75 yards to the pin, trying to drive a low one in there and just didn't drive it enough, but that's okay. I'm more than happy to kind of get a green and reg and I'm kind of feeling pretty good about the putter. Like, again, this place, just the greens and it's just everything just feels so tricky to me. And I find it a good challenge. Like, I, I need to expose myself to these kind of situations and try and put up scores here because these are where I screw up in tournaments. And, you know, being able to bounce back and trying to hit shots like this, like, I'm actually pretty pumped of kind of sticking that wedge on this hole. Lag it up there. But I, I'm not, as you can see, I'm not seeing the lines on the putts as clean as I need to be. And, and that's something I need to fix. Uh, hole 12 here, the wind was coming so hard off the left. I decided to not go with a long iron. I just went seven iron here to just kind of lay up because I... I just couldn't trust throwing a four iron up there and keeping it in play. And I knew the, you know, fattest part of the fairways here and, you know, hit a punch little, uh, lob wedge here. And there's a ridge right there and it just stopped on that ridge. And if it just had gone two more yards, it would kind of tumble down here, but that's fine. Uh, this was a much better lag putt and kind of saw the line there. Something I, again, still need to work on is just learning how to see the lines better on these kind of greens. Um, hole 13, I was in between clubs and I tried to step on a bit of a sand wedge a little bit just to bring it in high to this pin and obviously hit it thin and right through. But that left us with this chip and actually I was pretty pumped with this chip. Um, you know, considering how weak those first up and downs were to start the round, this felt like a, a nice little improvement, which was great. And we're still two over through 14. This hole pin was is behind a ridge towards the back edge of the green and you really got to carry that ridge and I just came up short and it kicked and again on this putt I thought for sure it was going to come back more it obviously did not and then the wind kept blowing and just kind of pushed it even more which is great and that left me with a really dicey par save here but we convert that and so now we enter the bear trap which is the hardest stretch of golf in this wind possible okay and I hit this great, and it just went right off the back. I thought for sure I had stuck this. Uh, it was 136 yards to the pin, and the wind was swirling, and I thought for sure I had it. But, you know, the green runs away from you. That chip was the best I could pull off, and we just leave the putt short. So there's bogey number one. So now we're three over through 16. Here, pin in the middle, you have to drive it in and manage your spin. I obviously totally blow it and hit it short which leaves me now with a chip up the hill and I'm gonna clip it a little too aggressively and it's gonna go deep, which now leaves a very, very tricky putt downhill. And if I do not manage the speed here, the putt is absolutely gone. As you can see, I barely hit it and it's running away pretty significantly had I given it any more pace and that could potentially be off the green. So it's, it's, that's a lot and that's a double, sorry, that's a bogey. What's coming, you'll see. This was a bag of, just bag of shit. Um, tried to hit a soft one in there. This green is so hard to hit with this wind. And I honestly just, wedge-wise, don't have the finesse yet. And I totally blew it. Um, so we're on in three. And then, I don't know what happened here. But I hit something. And it's completely stopped from going down the hill towards the, the ball which left me with a very tricky bogey putt. And again, it, I, I, I hit like another spike mark or something. I don't know. Just a whole string of bad luck for a double there, which was horrific. So I, you know, in a stretch of three holes, picked up four shots. And that left us into 18, which was playing 172 downwind. Just hit a little nice eight iron. And we have this putt, which... Again, just I got to get better at seeing the lines. I don't know what it is. Like these kind of greens, there's a, there's a, it's a challenge for me. And you know, thankfully only one three putt today, which was a total total mistake. But felt like generally did decent putting. But uh, low gross for men's night on this night was 61. I shot 62, so I missed low gross by one. Which I guess considering the fact that you know I had some blow ups there. Um, I, I didn't feel too awful about considering low gross was 61, but as you guys can see, not a very clean round of golf. Definitely, uh, definitely some mistakes and, you know, definitely some swings that just don't look good. 
Um, but these are the kind of situations I need to put myself in. This is where I'm going to learn. That's why I'm playing these men's nights because I need to fix these parts of my game. And this is the only way I'm going to do it. And this is the best place to clean up this aspect. Wedges, spin management, and putting. This place is going to make me better for tournaments. So that's why we're doing it. So hope you guys like this. I think I'm going to be filming all my men's nights. If you guys are enjoying this, I will continue to do so. Let me know in the comments and I will catch you on the next one.